Here's my final thought. I remember Glenn Brenner like he was here just yesterday. The iconic Channel 9 sportscaster was easily the most popular and the highest paid local TV figure this town had ever seen. He was funny, he was smart, and if you just got here, say in the last 10 to 20 years, here's a sample of his work. It all started the first week of the season when reliever Tommy Green, when reliever Tommy Green, hello, we don't have the Tommy Green tape? We don't have that. Okay, well, light him up if you got him. Anyway, uh, Smoking lab flit. What, do you, what tape do you want to run? Why don't you run something and I'll, I'll talk about that. Do you have any trouble getting in today? I was like 15 or 20 minutes late. I found these roadblocks down on River Road. And I asked the officer, I said, uh, you know, what's the time? He said, well, we're on the lookout for an extremely dangerous nun. And I, uh, and I, I didn't know. Uh, apparently, she goes around shopping centers grabbing people by the ear, them, and like pulling them, and then makes them stay after school. Coffee. What? What a concept. Coffee actually in your room. Why did I think of that? Glenn passed away back in 1992 from brain cancer after finishing his second Marine Corps marathon. He used to tell us news people they watch you guys because they have to. They watch me because they want to. You see he's in the spirit now. He's got no tie. He's got a little cleavage showing over here. He's in Vegas. No cleavage. That's right. He's like an anchorman for SeaWorld, doesn't he? Huh? Where'd you get this? Real shy did, us, did he do that to you? We miss you, Glenn. Thanks for watching the Q&A. We'll see you back here tomorrow.